I'm really very much delighted to be able to uh, address all our friends, you know, uh, friends of English language, teachers of English language. And the strange part of this particular uh, today's program is that the talk will be on a writer whose language is totally aligned to me, uh, the great uh, uh, Christian novelist and short story writer, whom uh, Lenin once described as the black genius. Of course, nowadays I come across that particular phrase in different translations. I read that uh, phrase maybe before 1980, in which uh, article I don't remember, the black genius. Uh, I have written in one of my personal letters addressing a friend that uh, you know this is what i wrote that i do not believe in god but i believe in dostovsky and deva vishwasi alla pache or dostovsky vishwasi ana that is what i wrote a few months back in a letter to a friend of mine now, dostovsky is very much a believer one cannot imagine the right this writer Without his, uh, you know, anti-atheistic position, he had been consistently writing against atheism. Uh, they say that uh, that his novel, The Brothers Karamazov, in that novel there is this character, Ivan, Ivan Karamazov, uh, that. Dostoevsky has presented that character as some sort of a representative of atheism. And uh, in that particular novel, there is that uh, section called, you know, uh, uh, a poem, The Grand Inquisitor. And uh, right now, if you search for that, uh, YouTube will give us a very wonderful uh, picture of a great actor from England, John Gielgud, who had uh, played the lead role in such uh, famous films like that Polish film like Andrei Vaida's Conductor. Uh, this is a one kind of uh, program. There is this uh, cardinal or bishop, the Grand Inquisitor, maybe in 1500 or so, some, that period. And right in front of him, there is this uh, new Jesus Christ, that is this 16th century Jesus Christ who was in the jail when Christ uh, you know, came back to uh, the earth after some 1500 years back. Uh, the people who put him in jail, there were not uh, people like Kayafas and uh, no, uh, uh, not most people. No, Pilate was there to you know try him. It was the uh, Christian Church who put him in prison. We know something about uh, the, the Grand Inquisition and such things. So here is this wonderful scene, one or so. Uh, this Grand Inquisitor played by. Uh, John Gielgud talking throughout Jesus Christ almost naked, maybe uh, quite fresh from the cross sitting no, he, he was in the prison he was brought uh, no, to the trial room and uh, this inquisitor character he is speaking out you know, the crime of Jesus Christ. That's a wonderful scene, Mana also. 
uh, what I try to uh, say is, is this, that is, he was a believer. He was a Christian. Of course, there is, there could be some uh, difference. They say that his Christianity was not, uh, strictly speaking, the Western kind of Christianity, but it could be the, the Eastern kind of Christianity, maybe the sort of Russian Christianity. And uh, uh, the Christ character, the new Christ character, he does not open his mouth at all. At the end of that uh, inquisition, that trial, this almost naked uh, Jesus Christ, uh, he stands up, he says uh, on uh, this inquisitor's forehead and uh, for it and goes back to the prison. Now, uh, it was Sigmund Freud who made a very important statement about those two writers. The first writer, we all are, we teachers of English, we all celebrate him. I remember. CSR celebrating, uh, which he, I don't remember, uh, our uh, P. Balajandran, uh, Saith Academy Hall, he put on the makeup of the bard, William Shakespeare. I remember that. I, I think we had a sort of a uh, post exhibition that time. The, 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 the context, I don't remember. Now, this is what Freud once wrote, I did not discover the unconscious. Writers like William Shakespeare and Dostovsky have discovered the unconscious. I do not say this out of any false respect, false sense of respect, uh, false sense of humility, sorry, let me correct myself. I do not say this out of any false sense of humility, but out of my respect for truth. William Shakespeare and Dostoevsky scheme unconscious about the Of course, uh, normally people would, uh, you know, uh, quote uh, from Sanskrit, uh, you know, and then gave the Sanskrit sloga or German sloga, Russian sloga, Russian sentence. But I think uh, instead of doing that, I uh, thought it better to translate, uh, you know, those few sentences into Malayalam because to me, that uh, you know, statement by Freud is that important. I did not discover the unconscious. Writers like William Shakespeare and Dostrovsky discovered it. I do not say this out of any false sense of humility, but out of my respect, respect for truth. And uh, whenever people talk about uh, Dostrovsky, one word that they uh, invariably use is the word psychology. Maybe he, 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 maybe the word was in Russian, it must be some other word. On one occasion, Dostrovsky said, People call me a psychologist. He continues, I'm not a psychologist. This is what he said. I'm a realist. Not the exact words. The next few words are not the exact words. I am quoting from a uh, uh, book of stories by Dostovsky. It's introduction uh, written by A. Bakunin, uh, a progress publication book. I think I bought that book in 1985, and I think I uh, got that book for eight rupees in 1985. So there is a pretty long introduction. And I think I found it interesting when I read it a long time back. I read it again one month back. Equally interesting, equally insightful, that particular uh, introduction. 
and in that introduction we have this quote from uh, Dostoevsky. I'm not a psychologist. I'm a realist. I depict uh, the depth of uh, the, hu the, the human soul in suffering or some such uh, a statement. This is what he said. So we have uh, come across people using the word psychology in the context of Freud. Uh, I mean, not Freud, but uh, Dostoevsky. But uh, I think Dostoevsky would be happier if we use the word spirit or spiritual. I'm also not that happy to reduce Dostoevsky uh, to, the, the, to, the, to the concepts of psychology. I consider him a great uh, writer depicting the depth uh, of the human psyche. But I think that one cannot reduce Dostoevsky to psychology, what uh, master's critics would say, psychologism. I remember Sudhi Pradhan in one of his uh, talks using this term, uh, reducing it to psychologism. I do not wish to do that. But at the same time, I do not uh, you know, uh, like to raise or reduce him to spirituality kind of thing. That there is the idea there. If at all, I would uh, like to uh, use the word uh, spirituality in the context of Dostoevsky. I would like to uh, connect it to the idea of love. I would like to quote uh, just uh, one of the New Testament's book of John. It is in that book of John that we have this famous quote or the famous idea that God is love or love is God. Or, I, I think it's God, God is love. Uh, and in Dostovsky, whether it is Karamaso brothers, that character, Alyusha, you know, we have Dimitri, we have Smirdyanikov, we have Ivan, and then there is Alyusha. Alyusha is a Christ-like uh, character. And we have uh, Dostovsky's uh, great novel, the novel which, which really influenced me. I read it uh, 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 two times, you know, almost in one year before my marriage, right after my marriage. I, I had given that book, you know, uh, as gift to many of my friends, uh, uh, the idiot. So there is Alosia, uh, Christ-like uh, figure in Brothers Karabazov, in which I am uh, venture to say that uh, that uh, Dostrovsky was more successful in depicting effectively the 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 dark human soul, the darkness of the human soul, represented by characters like uh, uh, Smirdyanikov, the fourth uh, son of uh, the father Pavlovich, uh, uh, Fyodor Pavlovich, uh, he had uh, three sons, Dimitri, Ivan, and Alusia. Uh, the marriage was, you know, accepted with the society and uh, out of that he had a relationship uh, I think with a, a servant maid and uh, that son was not accepted like like King Lear we have uh, Edgar and uh, Edmund like Edmund and uh, Smirdyanikov uh, so uh, Alusha is the but in that novel, Alusia is something like an ideal, it's Christ-like character, but uh, the characters who may um, uh, catch, who may, who may impress all of us could be, I don't know whether I could use the word impress, I do not get the exact word for that, the, the depth of psychology, Freud would uh, use the word depth of psychology. If we are to use that uh, term in connection with uh, uh, Dostoevsky's characters, we would, of course, uh, cite the example of these four characters, not Alusia. Alusia is a dream-like, you know, ideal-like, uh, Christ-like uh, figure. But the other four, Dimitri, then uh, Ivan, Smirdyanikov, yes, three. Also the father, you know, 
uh, one could say that in, in varying degrees they are all uh, depictions of the, the the dark side of the human soul, uh, evil uh, uh, attraction towards evil, and Alusia, the uh, character who could be considered innocence and love incarnated. Uh, and uh, in idiot, we have a triangular kind of uh, you know uh, situation. There is this uh, central character, Nastasia. There is a uh, one TV film, which I think is right now available. Could you will provide us with that? Uh, Andre Vaida. Andre Vaida. Uh, is a very prominent uh, Polish director. He was making films during the communist period. I remember watching his films like uh, Canal, Ashes of the Diamonds, and one more film of the trilogy, a, a Generation. And then he made a trilogy, you know, Man of Marble, Man of Iron, etc. You know, his uh, one-hour film, Nastasia, it is based on the last chapter of the idiot. We have the central character Nastasia. Uh, she is uh, what one one could uh, call, you know, a man of a woman of easy virtue like that, you know, or in uh, contemporary you know language, she is a sex worker. When we all started uh, teaching. Literature, it was, of course, you know, not that word, uh, prostitute. Now we use the other word. Nastasia and two men. Uh, uh, one is Rogozhin, maybe an uh, evil kind of person. Not exactly evil. When I use the word evil, I, I should always, you know, put it in, put, put it in with an inverted commas. Uh, it's not uh, exactly, you know, evil and uh, you know, goodness, it's not exactly uh, black and white. Uh, that is why Dostoevsky is really great. Now, Nastasia, that uh, one film, we have uh, that woman, Nastasia, and two characters. Uh, th th those characters are um, Alusia. I don't know. Uh, I'm getting it. Uh, you know. Who are the characters? Rogoshin and Idiot. The, 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 the novel is Idiot. Yes, Rogoshin and Mishkin. Now, the in the in that particular film, which is now available on the tube, uh, it's a Japanese production directed by a Polish director. Uh, 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 Andrei Vaida is both a theater man and a you know, filmmaker. Uh, uh, here is one famous Japanese actor. And uh, in this one-hour film, he plays two roles. Uh, he plays the woman character, Nastasia. He also plays the innocent, uh, you know, character, Mishkin. And then the third character played by a second person. And there is in that uh, uh, one-hour film, there is this uh, portrait there is this picture uh, which uh, Dostrovsky and Anna, we all know the story of you know, how Anna on one occasion saved Dostrovsky. There is a film which I think not available now, 26 days in the life of uh, Father Dostrovsky. It's about uh, Dostrovsky, then gambling, no money. Uh, he, he would like to make some money. Then somebody, some publisher came to him, gave him money, uh, made him sign some contract. And uh, he was expected to submit a novel within a stipulated time. And if he fails to do so, in the contract, it is mentioned that all the uh, books that he would write, the royalty would go to that publisher. No, he could not write. 
it was a it was i think one year period but now just one month uh, remaining and he could not write uh, it was finding him very difficult for him to write then somebody suggested why not uh, now this stenography it was becoming you know fashionable those days then anna came forward and it was she who helped him you know, he dictated it and she brought it down and uh, in the story not the story in the, the, in the it's a real thing uh, the, the publisher what he did you know he just left the place so that on the last day when he would bring the uh, manuscript he would not be there you now anna was quite uh, sensible enough you know what she did was she took that manuscript uh, to some magistrate or some court and uh, got it uh, you know uh, recorded and uh, that novel is the gambler and dostoevsky uh, who presented such ideal like uh, you know ideal characters like mishkin and uh, alusia uh, when it comes to money like uh, charlie chaplin like uh, the poet uh, the the french poet baudelaire uh, i think the stoics also always had this eternal money worry in english it is eternal money worry i remember hablo kellis referring to this uh, uh, when writing about somebody eternal money worry it was anna who saved her. in this context uh, those who read malayalam books malayalam novels i'm not uh, i'm not english teachers are more and more into the practice of reading novels in malayalam poetry in malayalam because it, it has become part of syllabus i remember my friend my colleague my senior colleague p damodaran uh, visiting st joseph's college in ingalakuda to teach one paper that is malayalam literature translation you know, the the the, the uh, one book the one name that is almost synonymous with dostoevsky in kerala is perimbadavam shridharan when i met him first uh, he was very happy you know uh, talking to me he told me that he had all my three books i, I met him years back and i understand that you know, and he said he did not say he did not tell me that the one reason he he told me that he liked all those books and uh, later I, when i thought about it i could understand the reason behind it because in the very first book my, in my very first book i have a phrase from the idiot there is something of dostoevsky you know, references to dostoevsky in my at least first book second book is uh, it is something different it is is there is a ten, a, a, a techniques third book is Uh, exclusively on satyat rai but the first book i have a quote from dostoevsky's uh, that book idiot this is that phrase in english the biological urge to speak manushya sahajamaya oru karyamana samsarikkuga ennathu the biological this daiva shastra paramaya chodana the instinct to talk uh, now his novel സങ്കീർത്തനം പോലെ ദാറ്റ് നോവൽ ടെൽസ് എസ് എ സ്റ്റോറി ഓഫ് അന്ന സേവിംഗ് ഡിസ്റ്റോവ്സ്കി ബൈ ടേക്കിംഗ് ഡൗൺ ദ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് നോവൽ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ടേക്കിംഗ് ദ മാനുസ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ടു ദ മജിസ്ട്രേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് യു നോ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് തിങ്സ് ഓക്കെ നോ ദർ ഇസ് എ ഫിൽം അബൌട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് വാസ് എ സോർട്ട് ഓഫ് എ കോൺട്രവേഴ്സി ലൈറ്റ് that this novel or sangirtana mole is um, based on that film i do not uh, 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 maybe peri badavam shridharan has seen that film but to me uh, the uh, book sangirtana mole and the film 26 days in the life of dostoevsky that is the 26 days uh, referring to the days that uh, anna took to complete that uh, that novel 
you know, taking down that novel, The Gambler. Uh, now, uh, uh, I, I, I think I should refer to Tolstoy. Uh, Tolstoy was alive. Dostoevsky was alive. Dostoevsky comes earlier. I, I, I was under the impression that Tolstoy, you know, was the much before Dostoevsky, because Dostoevsky, when you, uh, whenever we come across his uh, picture, though he is bald, he is never grey-bearded, uh, grey-haired. But all the pictures that we have in front of us of Tolstoy is that big beard, grey beard. Actually, Tolstoy is younger. And it is said that they did not ever meet, but Tolstoy always had a, had great respect for Dostoevsky. And uh, I am under the impression that the novel, I think the last novel that uh, Tolstoy wrote, uh, Resurrection, it was with me when I was on a, you know, on a sort of a, you know, uh, what is it, walking journey, you know, when I was the uh, teaching English at Brandon College, Talijeri. Uh, this book was with me. This book and Kassan Sake's fratricides, they were with me when I was, you know, uh, walking down the road. And on the third day, I got the third book, which is Dharma Badam, uh, from the house of my friend uh, Reknagar and Mangada. And the book, the copy that was uh, the copy of the famous poet, Malayalam poet, the, the famous, you know, when, when we people talk, teachers of English, we can take pride in the fact that uh, uh, this poet, uh, like many of the Malayalam poets, like G. Kumari Pilla, Professor G. Kumari Pilla, uh, then Aipa uh, Panikar, all famous Malayalam poets, but they were all teaching English. Now, Sachidanathan was also teaching English. So it was his personal copy. Okay. Now, uh, 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 I forgot when we, the, uh, when we started it. Now it is 1738. Uh, uh, Prakashan, sir? When did I start? I Fine, then you can, yeah, uh, you go ahead, please. Now, uh, now, how many minutes so far? I, I got. It is uh, thirty minutes. Now three zero minutes. Yes. Okay, then I will conclude. I will just uh, five no, minutes. Please do conclude. Go ahead, please. Uh, 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 I am trying to uh, Oops. practice Oops. this art of, you know, uh, attempting to you know control myself. Okay, as you please. Ten minutes. So I'm, I am. I will make an attempt. Okay. Uh, I think I would, you know, conclude with, uh, uh, you know, saying something about his stories, because so we have uh, the idiot, we have the gambler, we have the devil, we have the devils. You know, this is novel. The devil, the, the devil, the devil is actually about, you know, two characters. You know, you know the split personality kind of thing. I'm not familiar with that text. Uh, now his stories. And uh, his stories, uh, like the novel Idiot, uh, uh, there is one story which uh, you know, personally affected my life. I uh, mentioned the novel The Idiot, which I read uh, uh, twice in one year, 1985. Uh, uh, it was in the same year that I read his famous story. Uh, what is it? White Knights. White Knights is made into uh, many films. In Malayalam, there is Valutta Ratrigal, which came out uh, some three or five years back, directed by Razi, R A Z I. Uh, then uh, there is the famous uh, White Knights, made by the famous French uh, filmmaker Bresson. White Knights. Uh, it's about uh, it's a it's a it's a triangular kind of thing. Like uh, 
idiot no a, a, a man and a woman great friendship now the woman tells the friend look we will continue to you know have this friendship on one condition that is you should not later love me this should not evolve into love and uh, i think the heroine the woman uh, she had another relationship a lover now she is uh, broken you know in that love now this lover this uh, this man he was trying to uh, control his passion for that woman how not to allow that passion and that friendship to evolve into love but uh, he being a very ordinary human being uh, he is incapable of doing it he falls in love so that is the situation white knights there is a and i think there is a friend so it's a tri three uh, one woman and uh, two men white knights uh, th then there is one uh, i recently read a story maybe one month back i was supposed to uh, talk on dostoevsky and uh, that talk is available now uh, it's online true copy think kamal ram uh, kamal ram sajeev and uh, manila ji mohan they have this online magazine it's called true copy think t r u e c o p y t h i n k slash uh 50th edition 50 50th edition and uh, in that 50th edition of true copy think uh, there is a section on dostoevsky there are four articles uh, four talks about printed and uh, you know spoken the first uh, talk is by the dalit activist dalit theoretician i think he was uh, teaching you know at pune some university m punyaman he is talking about dostovsky in some adivasi village vayanad connecting it to his experience i think uh, crime and punishment in that village the, the second talk is by me uh, it is on dostovsky third one is by our friend professor c b mohandas uh, his talk the title i don't remember which has you know uh, much theoretical background to it uh, it's a, it's a really uh, you know interesting and um, you know Uh, which word i should use it has depth uh, you know my talk was something personal you know, rambling kind of thing you know it could be you know about my passion for the writer how the writer had become part of my you know system how dostovsky is very much there in my in the flow of blood in my system and there is uh, one uh, lady vinita vellimana oh I, i i'm happy that i could remember that talk by her because without referring to uh, one aspect of uh, dostovsky the man that one particular aspect uh, you know uh, 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 nobody could dare to talk about dostovsky that is his illness this epilepsy uh, dostovsky's character smrdyanakov in brothers karamazov like uh, like our julius caesar you know the falling sickness we have shakespeare his his term is falling sickness shakespeare did not have that uh, falling sickness uh, as i remember that uh, but uh, dostovsky has depicted at least uh, two characters suffering from this illness uh, epilepsy and uh, he himself had uh, uh, suffered a lot and in prince mishkin in, in idiot it is prince mishkin who has this Uh, falling sickness epilepsy right before that he will have a sort of a strange kind of uh, sensation or revelation kind of thing in brothers karamazov is it is smrdyanakov and uh, then 
I don't remember the uh, details in the other novels. Now, Vinita Vellimana, in her article, she is a sub registrar uh, Kusat University, Kochi. After listening to her talk, I talked to her. Uh, 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 what she told me, one important thing I uh, remember it very well. She told me that she started writing only at the age of 45. Before that, she had never thought about writing anything. It was only at the, she must be now 50 plus. She wrote an article which is which um, was in one sense revealing to me because in that article she was uh, talking about, she was writing about uh, this disease in the life of uh, Dostrovsky. Now, uh, uh, I will conclude with uh, a reference to two short stories by Dostrovsky. And uh, one, of course, is uh, uh, when I refer to this particular story, I'm happy that I could uh, connect it to a film. It is available. Uh, it is there is a film half an hour film no no i'm referring to another film crime and punishment is the animation if you search for it there is one animation film that uh, you know it's not uh, really something that could be reduced to half an hour but somebody has made dual or somebody has made a film, animation film, just 30 minutes, Crime and Punishment. Uh, now, this story, The Dream of a Ridiculous Man, I would say that it is a wonderful story. Freud wrote his masterpiece, that is what I think about Freud. Uh, one can forget one can forget about, uh, you know, uh, sex and other things, but dream, individual dreams. Now, The Dream of a Ridiculous Man, that is one story and another story uh, the dream uh, that is there, there is a uh, animation film a very beautiful animation film the dream of a ridiculous man uh, alexandra alexander Petro. and uh, one more story uh, something i read just uh, you know just few minutes before the film uh, before this talk the name of the story is Crocodile, something I have never come across in Dostoevsky. Uh, it is a satire kind of uh, story, very much comic. Crocodile. So I'm very happy that uh, you know I could uh, uh, read that story. Just uh, you know I could finish that story just five minutes before this talk. Uh, I could uh, uh, talk about these two different stories: the dream of a ridiculous man, uh, Abhasinaya. Uh, I don't know whether uh, any short film is there available. Uh, so uh, this is how, uh, you know, this is what I right now um, you know, have uh, within me to express as uh, my Dostovsky, you know, uh, and uh, of course, uh, our comments are, you know, sure, welcome, but never expect, uh, you know, uh, any clarification as such because I, because I could not, uh, you know, read the novels. I could not. Uh, uh, one book I, I, I should refer to, that is George Taylor. I read that before 1985 from London College. That book, Dostoevsky by George Taylor, and there is a phrase that is, I am with that phrase. I would say not either or, not uh, Tolstoy or Dostoevsky, but I, would, but I would say, this is not my phrase, Tolstoyevsky, you know. I would uh, I would be happy with these two writers always with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Aishan Modas, for that wonderful lecture. And it's, uh, I believe it's a very fitting uh, talk on this occasion of remembering the Stavisky at the 100th year. Now I would uh, invite uh, Prakash, Professor Priyan Prakash to comment on Das's uh, speech and any more, if you would like to add any more points to it, sir. Professor Priyan Prakash. 
I cannot comment on. Uh, thank you very much, Prof. Uh, Wright and Pradas. Uh, I don't want to comment on that, uh, on the, uh, particularly uh, when we were referring to, uh, when we are discussing such a great writer. Um, but rather, uh, I would love to, uh, uh, to, to say something about my own impressions of, uh, of, uh, uh, of Dostoevsky. But before I do that, uh, I would request uh, my friends assembled here to say um, what they have to say. Because we, can, we have nearly half an hour to go. And uh, after they speak uh, their comments, you know, uh, I would really uh, join you, you know, with my own, uh, how uh, the way uh, Dostoevsky has influenced my own life and career as a teacher. Mm -hmm. all, all along, I have been a great admirer of uh, Dostoevsky as a writer. And uh, I would love to speak. But before that, uh, others in this group, please come forward. I, well, of course, I'm ready. If you need more time, I would say my impressions, and then by that time, you can join. Yeah, somebody, please. Uh, so, there are uh, two books in Malayalam. I suddenly remembered it about his life. One is by K. Surendran, it seems. Then another one is by G. N. Pilla. Yes, on K. Surendran. Uh, I mean, on Dostoevsky's life. You know, suddenly I remembered it. K. Surendran, that novelist. His book on Dostoevsky the Kada, I think. Then Jean Pilla, he, he has written a book in Malayalam on Dostoevsky. Das, I think it is uh, Jean Panikya. Uh, Jean, not Jean Pilla. Jean, Jean Pilla is a totally different. Uh, yes, Jean Pilla is totally different. Jean Panikya, you are right. Jean, Jean Pilla is a very famous uh, writer who was uh, writing maybe in the early 1970s. Jean Panikya, you are right. So I think uh, I should I should make a beginning. What I have got to say is that um, primarily uh, every time I uh, I think of uh, Dostoevsky or every time I join a discussion on Dostoevsky, uh, three things come to my mind. Number one, uh, Dostoevsky was the first person who introduced the philosophy of nihilism to me. Or to be more accurate, uh, literary nihilism. While I was a student at college and when I was reading his books, it was sort of uh, a revelation to me that uh, there could be uh, large groups of men or people who, who believe that uh, life doesn't make sense. Nihilism is essentially the philosophy that rejects all conventional ideas of morality, loyalty, uh, a rule, uh, a rule of law, and all those things. And in all the novels of uh, uh, Dostoevsky, we come across this particular one or two great characters embracing this, the philosophy of nihilism. Total rejection of everything that a conventional society demands. Total rejection of what a bourgeois society uh, believes the right thing to do. And here, and of course, every time we speak of nihilism, uh, we, we, we think of uh, Nietzsche, we think of Schopenhauer, all the German philosophers. And now uh, there are people who believe that even Lord Buddha, it was Lord Buddha who initiated, who started this business of uh, uh, Shunyavadam. 
emptying all existing conventions and starting things new. And in, uh, in uh, uh, Dostoevsky, uh, two characters are most memorable. I mean, they are, uh, but before I proceed to that, I would like to make a distinction between nihilism and anarchy. Nihilism is a very large philosophical concept, whereas anarchy is political, uh, uh, political nihilism. Groups of men destroying everything for the simple reason that they do not believe in conventional security. And one character, his name, we are familiar with him, Swidri Gailov. People used to call him uh, some sort of a villain in crime and punishment. The one who tries to marry uh, Raskolnikov's sister. And when she rejects him, and for ultimately for no reason, nobody knows why, uh, Sudrigilo uh, ultimately shoots himself to death. Now, uh, in Malayalam, I, uh, I don't, uh, maybe uh, we have touches of a nihilist in um, Kasaki Deityas, I mean Devi, quite possible. No. She doesn't believe in that conventional morality that one man should, I mean, he should live with one woman or this is the way. So the big question that has all along been asked is, uh, uh, did uh, Dostoevsky uh, believe in nihilism, in this total rejection? And from what I have read, what my feeling is that he was against it. He believed that maybe like nihilism uh, is a sort of existentialism. Now, um, it was after uh, nearly 70 years after, uh, um, after uh, Dostoevsky uh, gave a general uh, uh, philosophical idea to uh, this uh, uh, anarchism that uh, Camus and later Sartre gave us uh, a concrete shape to the idea of the absurd and existentialism. Nihilism, anarchy, existentialism, absurdism, all these, uh, all these concepts are in a way, a very closely related ideas. But uh, uh, Camus used to say that, uh, that uh, Dostoevsky was positive, that he rejected nihilism. And that was why he said, that was why Raskolnikov went, uh, went back to confess. That was, Raskolnikov also begins like an nihilist. And a greater character, I mean, uh, an unforgettable character, in my opinion, in all the fiction of uh, Dostoevsky is Stavrogin in the Devils. Stavrogin. People used to describe him a monster, one who derives joy simply. Uh, I mean, he derives joy in destroying things, in destroying, in killing people. Why are you killing that person? Just as Raskolnikov did it. Raskolnikov thought that by killing that pawn broker, that woman and her sister, he would be uh, doing a better, greater service to the society. So the question was always there. You think that you, by getting rid of a few people, uh, you are helping the society, you are helping the poor, you are helping the downtrodden to live a better life. But have you got the right to take another person's life? This is the question. 
Rather, this kind of philosophical dilemma is discussed in all the all the novels. You know. I mean, uh, that is why I said uh, uh, he not only uh, Dostoevsky not only introduced the idea of nihilism, he debated it. He debates it in crime and punishment. He debates in the insulted and the injured. He debates in, he debates that best in um, in uh, Brothers Karamso. Yes, a, a kind of uh, a polyphonic narration where we have uh, theology, um, religion, uh, morality, um, conscience. Um, all these things are uh, blended in such a way that in the fictional that we unconsciously these ideas you know these ideas uh, come into uh, we are influenced by these ideas without being aware that uh, actually in fictional terms he is discussing philosophical ideas so uh, that was uh, stavrogin albert camus was so fascinated by the book devils it has two more English translations, which my friends would be aware of. One is the possessed. The other is, um, is demon, the, de uh, the demons. Uh, that's because in Russian, they have, uh, uh, I mean, all of us are aware of the, uh, <laughs> the problems of uh, the subtle differences in translations so that is that is one aspect you know that there could be there could be that nihilism that in every in fact even um, uh, joseph conrad has written a fantastic novel on nihilism the secret agent and we have that most unforgettable character the great lady there uh, who murders the anarchist, Winnie Verloc, for killing, she murders the anarchist for killing her little 10-year-old uh, brother. Great. It's a, it, it, it's a wonderful work. Secret agent by, uh, by Conrad. And Conrad, I believe, has admitted that he was uh, influenced by uh, the climate, you know, whether, uh, of course, uh, Tolstoy uh, has um, stated that uh, that uh, Tolstoy, uh, I mean, uh, Lenin has uh, commented upon Tolstoy that uh, Le uh, Tolstoy's work is the uh, mirror of Russian revolution. That was what he said. But reading uh, Tolsto uh, Dostoevsky's work, I have often felt that Dostoevsky's novels are a more accurate uh, mirror um, uh, shown at the, at, 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 the, at the Russian society in the late 19th century. Hundreds of groups of revolutionaries throughout Russia fighting against the Tsar and the, and the great gulf between the rich and the uh, I don't want it. But I'm only trying to say that uh, anarchism, nihilism, and existentialism, all these uh, philosophical concepts, um, uh, for me at least, uh, I got strongly influenced by the, that, uh, that, that the pretensions of people in the bourgeois society that uh, well, I am a very law-abiding citizen. How far it is? How far is it true? How will you act in a different situation? Well, I don't want to go into that. So that is the first thing that comes to my mind when I when I think of uh, Dostoevsky, that he was the one who opened the large world of uh, of uh, anarchy before us, in before me and some of my friends in all his literature. That's one. 
Second, second, uh, he was the one. One novel which I can never forget in my life is The Insulted and the Injured. Because Tolstoy, with all his greatness, I should say, Tolstoy was always most at home in the company of aristocrats and the peasants. But he was never at home with the middle class. And as far as Dostoevsky is concerned, uh, his novels, as the title goes in, The Insulted and the Humiliated, he was the first novelist among Russian writers to introduce the lives of the poor. Uh, poor, poor people struggling in the countryside, in the towns, you know, so many, because, and, and, and the variety of uh, women characters. After Shakespeare, I don't think any other, whether it is uh, Sonia in Crime and Punishment, then um, Natasha in The Insulted and the Injured, Grushenka in Brothers Karam So, and uh, one, more for, one more character, I forget. Uh, anyway, so many of them. And um, it is in all the, again, I must say that Dostoevsky could create uh, unforgettably moving uh, emotional scenes in so many of his, so many of his novels. And in two novels in particular, when there is the, when the daughter walks out, uh, runs away with her lover, and when she comes back, uh, great, great moments, you know, the reconciliation between the father and the daughter, as we see in, uh, in King Lear and others, you know, unforgettable, uh, unforgettable descriptions, narration of uh, how a father, uh, the, 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 the deep love that exists between a father and a I have always felt that maybe in Balzac, I forget the one of his, uh, a novel that is written where the daughter comes back thinking that she will be beaten to pulp by her father. But uh, before uh, she uh, uh, falls at the feet of the father, as in King Lear, the father falls at the feet of the daughter and says, well, uh, I should have been more kind towards you. And that, and uh, one quotation in the insulted and the injured, because he says, uh, uh, Dostoevsky's world is the world of the suffering class. And he, uh, very religiously, he believed that uh, one must uh, move from through suffering to a higher, um, uh, a, um, a, 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 a more sublime emotional state and suffering alone can cleanse you and make you become better human being. And so in this case, um, there, is, there is one quotation which even in my students, I, uh, it got deeply etched upon my mind. And that is, he says, if you, if you demand respect from others, if you want other people to respect you, it must begin with self-respect. You, first, you must learn to respect your own self. And unless you triumph in that activity, unless you succeed in that activity, that is, learning to respect your own self, you will never get respect from others. That is a lesson. That's a uh, th th that's a famous quote which people always say because. Uh, and I remember that in uh, the insulted and the humiliated. And the third thing, and so first is just, I was trying to uh, uh, tell my uh, uh, my friends the uh, how. Nihilism uh, created such an impact upon my mind. Then secondly, uh, the great women characters, Nelly, even a 13-year-old girl in 
in the insult and then they enjoyed is uh, one of the most comfortable and third the third aspect and um, you must my friends must excuse me for uh, uh, mentioning something very personal that is uh, when i was 10 years or 11 years uh, i had an uncle uh, in fact we were, he had married uh, my aunt Uh, uh, his name was N K Damodaran. He has uh, translated uh, sub- many of the novels of uh, Dostoevsky, including the Incident and the Injured, Devils, Brothers Karam. So he has done some significant work. So uh, when he was, he used to come and stay in. Uh, uh, he was the classmate of my father also, and so he used to come and stay in our house for several days. and one night i woke up hearing somebody so bellowed in the next room so i uh, i got uh, me and my sister got a terrible shock we woke up and looked at the window where uh, our uncle was um, uh, asleep i saw him holding the bars of our old house and uh, crying aloud i'm not I, i'm not joking uh, my respected friends I, i i witnessed it the following morning even when he was reading extracts from the translations of the insult and then the injured to my father again his eyes were brimming over with tears so uh there could be people so deeply involved in another another life in the lives of uh, uh, people suffering uh, if, 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 if people uh, suffering from the struggles of existence in misery they identify themselves with those characters and then um, uh, for uh, maybe for a nihilist it is a matter to be laughed at so there are so many instances like that but that was another reason why i religiously read all the uh, 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 novels of uh, of uh, adostovsky uh, by the time i completed my postgraduate class though i did not understand several parts of uh, dostoevsky's novels i was able to finish reading many of his books thank you very much i would love my friends assembled here to comment on how this great writers uh, novels have influenced them thank you Uh, can i add one point oh sure, sure. Uh, i forgot to mention something very important from the life of dostoevsky uh his experience of having uh been uh, sent to siberia you know he was in jail for maybe 10 years and uh, more important than that maybe he was to be executed uh, he was part of a kind of a terrorist kind of group and uh, uh in the novel the idiot at the very beginning mishkin who has this you know biological uh, to speak like uh, you know every human being he has a special kind of thing he suddenly starts talking to the person sitting right in front of him you know that railway journey and he narrates a story and that story is actually a story referring to dostoevsky's life uh he tells the story of how somebody was a sentence to be executed sar uh, you know he, he uh, intentionally uh, made the judges make that uh, sentence and uh, dostoevsky was taken you know at the, at the, uh, i think at 7 o'clock in the morning he was to be shot that that was the idea and he was uh, his uh, head was covered his eyes were closed he was about to be shot then somebody comes with the message reprieve this is something that had really happened to dostoevsky and dostoevsky has referred to that 
in the novel idiot i forgot to mention that it's a very important incident he has suffered suffering in his life like this uh, uh, but then uh, professor uh, professor prakash was referring to uh, which novel I, i forgot and i was uh, i wanted to refer to that uyir uh, thelnilpa resurrection uh, uh, no, 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 that no. is tolstoy's resurrection no, 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 you no, make no, reference to no, that i'm not referring to it i'm referring to a novel by dostoevsky which is made into a film by uh, shyam prasad okay okay is that right we are telling that the devils uh, that's I right the devils i think it's a very uh, beautiful short film it was a good movie uh what's his name i forgot maybe um resina would be able to help us or uh, uh what's it uh, famous movie by what that's by uh no no uh, maybe uh, das you were referring to i'm sorry uh, that's maybe like camu i think was that by camu or sir i camu yeah yeah correct a camus the just the just, just yeah the just yeah. was it made into a telefilm by um uh, <coughs> uh that shyam prasad shyam prasad which is based on dostoevsky uh, uh no but dostoevsky is a uh, uh, novel converted into adapted into a play by kami was the it had the same name the possessed yes but this is the just assassins right mm-hmm. that's it the just yeah uh, nisha you are was it nisha who said that jaya jaya oh, oh, thank you jaya you are right Ah, yes, sir. Now one more thing, you know, if you go to Chetana College, Chiyaram, uh, on the wall somewhere of that uh, college, you can see one quotation. You know, Professor Pragash was referring to some quotations. You can see a quote from Dostoevsky, and it's a very beautiful quote. I came to know about that quote, the source of that quote only recently. I knew that it was from Dostoevsky. This is it. Beauty will save the world. Uh, Dr. Benny Benedict, the director of uh, Chetana College, Chiyaram, uh, made it a point to put these words on the wall as some sort of a motto: "Beauty will save the world." And uh, Dr. V. Rajeshwaran, uh, some days back, I asked him from which novel by Dostoevsky this quote could be. He said, "It could be from Brothers Karamazov. The quote uh, could be by F- Father Sosima." that bishop uh, beauty will save the world and then there is professor pragash was also re- referring to nihilism and there is a quote from brothers karma so it is something like this if there is no god everything is permitted this is also from brothers karma so what 